because of coronavirus, you are going to be quarantined, but you have a choice. Do you A, quarantine with your wife and child, or B, B. 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 Hello and welcome to Crypto Tips. In this video, I'm going to tell you what are my personal top three cryptocurrency picks in the coronavirus outbreak, right? Because the markets have taken a huge plunge on the 13th of March. It was a very, very bloody day. It was horrible for many people in the crypto space to watch. When we saw Bitcoin take a plunge all the way down to 3,780 on some exchanges, uh, on some other ones, maybe 3,800, but a huge dip. We didn't even expect that we'll probably see these prices again. I know that some pro traders were saying, some like Ton Vase were saying that we will very likely go below 4K once again. The probability was higher and here you go, it happened. Now, is it because of the coronavirus? We don't know. Now, I know that many crypto YouTubers don't mention the word coronavirus because they monetize on their videos and they can't monetize. I don't monetize, so I don't care. I can say coronavirus as many times as I want. And this is the truth. This is what's happening, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. But let me know what you think in the comments below. How did you cope with this, by the way? way uh, here in Spain before I jump into the video I just want to say here in Spain we are in quarantine since last Sunday so only one person can go to the supermarkets to buy food and stuff and even then the police will stop you and ask you what are you actually doing where are you planning to go why are you traveling so you got to tell them look I'm going to the supermarket and uh, when you go to the supermarket if you get stopped it's kind of hard to prove you're going to the supermarket but if you've already been and you're going back home you can prove it right because you got the receipt they actually ask you for the receipt it happened to me today when I went for shopping so it's pretty horrible let me know how is it in your country where you're from drop me a comment below I want to find out uh, what it's like around the world with the coronavirus I know that China is very badly hit and Italy here in Europe uh, Spain is the second worst but more and more countries are starting to uh, get hit now but at least borders are closed, so that's a good sign because uh, they're kind of stopping the spread of the virus now. Uh, in the supermarkets, a lot of people are wearing masks uh, and gloves too. Actually, they won't even let you in the supermarket unless you have uh, gloves. So yeah, pretty crazy, but it is what it is. We're going to try and survive through it, right? It's not the first time that we've seen this kind of virus uh, spread around the world. We've seen it uh, in the past before. Of course, we had the Ebola outbreak as well. It just didn't reach Europe, for example. Well, it did reach Europe, but like in, only a few people were affected, not like a lot of them. So uh, yeah, this is how it is. It's, it's horrible and uh, we didn't think we'd probably see it in this specific lifetime, but it happened, right? It is what it is. But before I talk about the top three picks, uh, if you're new here, I just want to remind you that my name is Claudio and this is CryptoChain, the channel where I do crypto news reviews, tutorials and interviews. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications. To make sure you don't miss the next video I upload that may interest you and of course don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it. But let's get straight in and talk about the top 3 crypto picks and I'm going to start with one of them and this is not in any specific order. I'm not going to say this is the best, this is the second best. No, just the top 3 crypto picks in general. It doesn't have to be number 1, 2 or 3. They could be in any random order. I think they're really good picks. And this the first one here is Wazir X. It was an initial exchange offering, uh, also known as an IEO for short on Binance. As you probably know, if you don't already know, I'm letting you know now. Uh, basically, uh, it's an exchange from India, a cryptocurrency exchange from India, uh, which was purchased by Binance. So Binance owned this exchange uh, in order to capture the Indian market. Now, there were some problems in India in that banks didn't want to allow people to deposit uh, in order to buy cryptocurrencies using their local currency, the Indian rupee. But recently, there was a law which, uh, well, there was some discussion and then the law came into, uh, into place to say that they can buy with fiat. So this has caused the price of WRX or WazirX to pump like crazy. Again, this is a token on Binance chain. So uh, you do need to, if you want to actually hold this token in your wallet, in your like say ledger or in a personal wallet, you do need to have the Binance chain up on your ledger or you need to download the files and the, of course, the passphrase and all that sort of stuff uh, from Binance for Binance chain in order to hold this. 
So yeah, I mean the total supply as you can see is 1 billion, 107 million is the circulating supply. But what is the actual benefit of this and what is the reason for the pump? So we will be taking a look on Binance in a moment to kind of show you the historical data uh, for this specific token and why I like it personally and why I think it's very volatile and great for gains, especially if you're scalping and not necessarily if you're scalping, even for swing trading. And, and really it's not only because India is a big country, but also because they've got the uh, discount on trading fees uh, for holding this token and also you can buy uh, coins on this exchange using the local currency and they're offering big discounts in India and you can also sell of course for the local currency. So because of that I think that many people they're advertising really well in India as well. So I think many people from India uh, who were interested in the crypto space but couldn't buy are now using Wazir X to, to trade. They've been to many conferences there and of course because they've got Binance back in them as you can imagine right there's a lot of pump mentals behind it. I'm not saying it's a, an amazing project or anything, but just because they've got Binance back in them, the pump mentals are there, so you can expect gains. And we're going to take a look on Binance here. We can see this huge pump that it had. Right? I'm not gonna even look from the moment when it was listed, or actually you can take a look. Uh, when it got listed, it was uh, trading, as you know, there's usually a swing up and a swing down. So it went down to two cents. It went uh, up to like seven cents. When it got listed, that was just the bots basically trading it when there was no liquidity, but it stabilized around 4.7, 4.8 cents. So just under five cents for almost one day before the huge pump started taking place. And then we seen this huge extended wide range candle here, a green candle to 14 cents. And then the next day went to 16 cents, so a huge pump. So you may argue that, yeah, this happened with Matic before as well when it got listed on Binance, right? So the pump mantles are there and you may be thinking, well, maybe the bots pumped them. Maybe it was Binance that pumped them because they have interest, right? And it could be the case. I'm not saying we don't know the reason for the pump. I'm just showing you that it was huge. Then it came back down to stabilize for a bit, around 8 cents. As you can see, are 9 cents. And then another pump to 12 cents when the news from India broke out. Actually, it wasn't even when the news from India broke out. I think this was, uh, there was some other news that happened. I, oh yeah, it's one of the P2P trading platform between Binance and Wazirx where you can uh, basically send tokens, USDT Tether, from Wazirx exchange to Binance in and out. So you can actually do that. So when they launched this feature, one day before they launched this feature, the pump happened. So that's when it pumped to 12 cents. So of course I knew about this too, many people knew about this too, but not many people got in one day before. Some people wanted to wait before, uh, no, some people wanted to wait for the actual day uh, before they got in, but it happened one day before, obviously were some kind of whales or somebody taking advantage of the news. Uh, then it dumped again uh, quite a lot, as did the market in general. And we can see here it went as low as 5.5 cents, 5.6 almost, so very, very low. Uh, just a little bit higher than when it got listed on that first day, right? And then when the news from India broke out about uh, them allowing crypto deposits uh, from Royal Bank of India, that's when we saw the massive pump, which just didn't, didn't end, right? It was just amazing. It went like in different waves here. You can see in the first wave, it went to like over 11 cents, second wave 14 cents, and then continued all the way up to almost 23 cents. So humongous, the possibility was just amazing. Then it took a little bit of a pullback as is normal to 16 cents, then 20 cents and then crashed back down uh, with the COVID-19 stuff, the coronavirus. When Bitcoin took a plunge, not even Wazirx was able to survive this, right? So you could argue uh, maybe it was pumped and then dumped, but not really because Bitcoin dumped as well. So it's just the whole market that was absolutely smarter, right? And uh, we can see here, it went down to 5 cents. And then immediately after it recovered and went to 12, almost 12 cents. So it's just amazing. Wazirx is a beast. And of course, we've got the volume here holding it strong. So it's pretty much like the next BNB in my opinion, right? You got to keep in mind that we have the 1 billion supply, right? They do have that uh, as opposed to uh, Binance. Uh, Binance uh, BNB, the Binance coin, which has 100 million total, but now less because they're burning every quarter. Uh, there's going to be quarterly burns for Wazirx too, so that's something to keep in mind. You can expect some pump mentals to take place just before they announce the burn, the burn results, because they're going to be less in circulation. Uh, but of course, we've got the team tokens, so you got to keep that in mind too. The team can still sell. Uh, but we may see mo some more wild swings here. And as we've seen, it did come back down to like 8 cents after that initial pump. 
and then back to 12 cents. So it just loves that price. Now it really wants to retest at 20 cents again, but of course it can't because Bitcoin is holding it low. But if Bitcoin was to stabilize for a while to say around 6K, we could potentially see WRX or WASIRX pump once again. But let's move on and talk about the next one because that's it about uh, WASIRX. Let me know what you think. Uh, engine, engine coin, again, exactly the same, very, very strong. Uh, when it recovered after that initial dump with Bitcoin, it went from uh, 3 cents all the way up to uh, close to 8 cents. So we can see it here. Let's go back. Uh, let me go there against the USDT pair. So I just want to show you this. So here it went down to 3.2 cents. Who would have thought we'd see engine at these prices once again? I was actually hoping to see engine. At uh, 5 cents once again, I would have never expected that in 2020, the year of the halving of Bitcoin, we're going to see engine below 5 cents. So it's just amazing, amazing what a sale this was. So it went to 3 cents, then it recovered, went to 5 cents, then went down to around 4 cents, just over 4 cents. And you can see it actually pumped to 8.7 cents. So this was over a 50% gain here with engine had you, had you personally gotten in around this price here. So it just shows you that the pump mantles are there. Now it broke this uh, daily average here. As you can see the 99 um, daily moving average. Usually when, when this breaks it, it's usually a bullish sign. So it could potentially go to nine. I would say uh, be careful. Like I don't, this is not financial advice, by the way. I'm not recommending you to, to get in or anything. But uh, if you are looking into it, be careful. Uh, it could pump higher, but it could also be a fake out because if it comes down here, uh, with the rest of the Bitcoin price and anything else, it could potentially revisit these levels uh, between four cents and five cents, right? So just keep that in mind. There is a possibility that you can get this much cheaper, but personally, I'm I'm targeting around the the four to four point five cent area. If Bitcoin dumps again, I'm targeting this area for Engine because I personally think it's going to be a good trade for me. But that's that about Engine. Let's move on and talk about Kava. Again, Kava have proven themselves. They've recently hired new people. They've been listed on new exchanges. Uh, so the way the thing is with Kava, like I've actually done a review on Kava, do check it out on the top right hand corner if you're interested, Kava Labs. Uh, I wasn't too sure about them. I was a bit concerned with the fact that they were uh, shilling the uh, Ripple partnership. Uh, but the thing is that it was actually one of the uh, Ripple foundations that actually funded Kava, right? So that's how it is. They're not only funding Kava, but they're funding multiple companies. So Kava is one of them that's being funded, but they've got a lot of money now because of the IO that they held on Binance. So they've got money to hire new people. So they made a few hires. They're trying to grow their team. You're just unfortunate that they had to suffer this, right? Of course, they're still working hard as everybody else are doing. So this is something bullish for Kava. And we have seen the price of $1 uh, kind of getting hit over and over again. Uh, and then coming back down just a little bit under a dollar for a while there before we saw this massive plunge that Kava took. And of course, as anything else, let me go to Kava. Now, the reason I say this is another good pick is because of the wild swings that we've seen, right? We've seen massive wild swings. Look at this. It went below IEO price, which was the initial exchange uh, offering price. I think it was like 40 cents and it went down to 24 cents. So that's like almost half the price of the IO, right? Amazingly cheap here, as we can see for Kava. Uh, of course, recovering to 51 cents, giving you a two, 2x gain if you would have gotten in close to the bottom. But I mean, who would have gotten in when this happened probably for a split second, right? It's very hard to do that. And then of course, the recovery is what I'm talking about here. So as you can see, when Bitcoin grows, Kava grows even more. So just like the other two that I've been talking about, Engine and uh, Wazirx, Kava is in the same state because of the lack of liquidity. There isn't enough there aren't enough coins in circulation, thus massive spikes in price happen when the market is bullish in general. Of course, other coins and tokens pump, but if the supply is big, they don't pump as much, whereas Kava does. So the pump mantles are there. I know that a lot of people are in it for the tech, and I'm not saying the tech is bad, right? They are actually working on that DeFi stuff, right? They're, they're hiring people. They're trying to spread the word about DeFi. They're trying to integrate. They're trying to build partnerships. So they're working, but the pump mantles are also there, right? Not only the technical spec and stuff, but the pump mantles because of the lack of liquidity. And this is what people want. People want gains, right? A lot of people are in it for the tech and for the gains, right? If they weren't in it for the gains, What's the point, right? They'd be thinking, okay, well, I like the tech. I'm going to use the tech, but I want to make the gains. So hence why people are buying a lot, right? In general, when they invest in crypto. So that's how it is. 
this, these are my picks for today, my top three picks. I'm going to be looking at more of these tokens and coins in the coming days and probably do more videos on that if you enjoy these type of videos. But I just kind of wanted to give you my personal opinion on these top three ones, uh, which have been very volatile. Not to say that other ones haven't, like Ontology, for example, and NEO, they've been following Bitcoin too. They've been pumping. Everything was basically pumping. But it's these three specific ones that I've noticed are really volatile. And for trading and for scalping purposes, I am kind of targeting these three personally. So that was it from today's video. Let me know what you think once again in the comments below. And don't forget to smash the likes if you enjoyed it. Stay safe out there with coronavirus. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.